Hey guys, Andy42 here and today we are going to have a look at the map example. So in this map you can see all those actors are moving around and they are synchronized. You can see their position on the 2D map. The map is split up in two different parts. So we have the attic on the top and the lower part. You can switch between both of them. If you hover over the map, you can see this red cross and if you press the trigger, you will be teleported to the very same position. So that's a very cool way of navigating through your maps. And you can add as many map floors as you want in there. You can also see those actors, in this case, this bookmark here. Everything is synchronized, you can move it around and you can see the changes in real time. If I put it up here, you can see it's disappearing from the ground and now it's on the attic. So all of this is handled automatically. So the next thing is our 3D map. This is just for a presentation. So you can see all the actors in there. You can even see a small copy of yourself. And if you move around with the controllers, you can see even a small version of you is moving the controller. So everything is in real time here. It's a cool holographic effect you can use for your maps. And all the actors that have the replication component will be replicated in real time. So even if I move around the sofa here, you can see the ghost object is being updated. But of course, this feature needs quite some performance because everything has to be calculated twice. So keep that in mind if you're working with it, especially for large areas. You should really consider what actor should be replicated and what not. We also integrated this into our radial menu. So if you open it up, you get a nice little palette with all the function I just showed you. It's fully functional. I'm going to scale it up a little bit. And like every palette, if I move around, it will follow me. So it always keeps the same distance to myself. And I can use it to teleport. I see all the actors in there. I have my two different floors. So all those features you already know. One thing that is new here, let's teleport here. We have those viewports. And if you press the plus button, you can save it to your personal viewport. Let's save some of them. So the user can define them themselves. And if you press them, you will be teleported to the very same position. It's a cool feature because the user can create those viewports at runtime. Remember, they will not be saved in this version. So you can, of course, save them if you want to. Right now, if the game ends, it will be gone away. You can, however, place preset viewports in there. So for example, let's, let's place one here for the shelf. And now if I open it up and go to my viewports, you can see under viewports, I have this predefined position the user can jump to and I can add a couple of them in my map and switch between them with the UI. So that's it for this map. I'm going to see you in the next video.